Okay, so let's check out Spark's song sequencer now. Here it is, it's really, really simple. You've got all your patterns and banks here in the pattern wheel, and down here are your pattern slots. And a Spark song has a maximum amount of patterns of 64 patterns. Now that's not the maximum amount of bars, because remember, any Spark pattern can be more than one bar in length. But your song cannot be more than 64 patterns in length. And you simply arrange the patterns in the order you want them to play. So first of all, we can drag and drop from the pattern wheel. So I'm going to drag and drop pattern A9, and I'm going to drop it into pattern slot 1 here, currently occupied with pattern A1. And as I do that, I want you to watch the text here, where I'm clicking in the middle. So I drag A9, and as I hover over pattern slot 1, and then move from left to right over that slot while holding the, the pattern that I'm dragging, I move from left to right over the slot, look, and it changes from black to grey, and as it changes from black to grey, the text here changes. Black is insert, grey is paste, look, insert selection, paste selection. Now if I let go and it says paste, it pastes the pattern in, and pasting simply replaces the pattern that was there with the pattern that you're pasting in. But all the following patterns stay in the same order. Command Z, undo. Drag pattern 9 again, hover over the slot, paste, insert, paste, insert. Let go when it says insert, boom. Now when you insert a pattern, it puts it into that slot and shuttles everything else up to the right to make room. Simple, command Z to undo. Now we can do the same thing using <coughs> copy, paste and insert here, these buttons. So if I highlight B16, pattern B16 in pattern slot 32, highlight it, copy. Now highlight pattern slot 1, currently occupied with pattern A1. If I do paste, then B16 simply replaces A1. All the following patterns stay in the same position. Command Z, undo. But if I insert B16 into this slot here, insert, boom. It gets inserted into this slot, all the other patterns get shuttled up to the right to make room. Command Z, undo. Simpler. And then to delete a pattern, <coughs> same thing happens. If I choose any pattern. If I delete it with the D button here, delete, it gets knocked out. So that all the patterns to the right, they shuttle to the left to fill the gap. So I've got pattern A11, A12, A13, 14, 15 here. They'll all shuttle to the left when I delete A10. Ready? Delete. Boom. And all the other patterns shuttle to the left to fill in the gap. Command Z undo. Simple. Really, really simple. And once you've got the patterns in the order you want, that's your song save your project to save the song and then go to the center area latch the song button hit play and spark plays the patterns back in the order you've arranged them hit stop simple as that and one last tip when you do hit stop when your song is playing the current pattern remains highlighted in solid orange so if you were to now exit song mode, then your sequencer retains that pattern highlighted all the time and it cannot be removed from being highlighted, which can be irritating. So before you delatch song mode, double click stop to rewind the song to the beginning, then delatch song mode and your song sequencer, if any pattern is highlighted in orange, it'll only be the first one. Sometimes it isn't highlighted, sometimes it is, but it'll always be the first one, if any, that's orange, and therefore you won't have this irritating solid orange pattern somewhere in the middle just distracting you, you know. Again, that's the song sequencer, really simple.